What it do, y'all? Shman B so five one three man. We got that Petey Pablo bumping in the background. We taking it back to North Kagalaki. You feel me? For uh, one of the best players I feel in this draft, really the most underrated left tackle I feel in the draft. You know what I'm saying? We got some great plays to show y'all against one of the best pass rushers uh, in the mock drafts. Uh, the defense alignment right there out of Clemson. Um, great. Uh, awesome Richards. He's great at what he does. You see opening up lanes or what have you. Man, just watch the film, man. The film don't lie, y'all. You know I love the, the one hand, two hand, the one hand, two hand. Like I said on my Jackson Carmen video, I love when a, a lineman can pass off the blocks like that, man. It's, this guy's elite, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like I would love my Bengals. Look at that. Look at that. That you know what I'm saying? Manhandle, bro. Like real life manhandle that guy right there. Created a lane for him to run through. You know I love good offensive lineman play. I love great offensive lineman play. I love how he just stood his ground right there. We got a, a a whole lot of clips to show you guys right here, man. Just keep an eye, man. Just keep an eye on it, man. You you watch the video. Let me do my commentary, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to talk my itch, though. Real talk. Because I was real high on Jackson Carmen. You feel me? We got him. I know what I'm talking about. I feel like now I got a resume. When I when I put my stamp on the offensive lineman, you know what I'm saying? He going to be he gonna be one of them. And that's the only play where I feel like he got beat on right there by Brian Brice, or however you say his name. But even going against Notre Dame's best defensive lineman right there, you can see he put him on his ass. Respect to both. Once again, I like the, the pass off, the one-hand, two-hand game. I love that. You know what I mean? He's a, hey, man, I really feel like this is probably the most underrated left tackle in the draft. You know, say he's 6'4". He might be undersized or what have you, but look at Rashawn Slater, how he performed in his rookie season. And I'm pretty sure that's not the only 6'4 left tackle in the NFL or, or in the NFL history that's had a decent career. I think this guy's going to be a steal, like a real live steal in the draft. He might be the, the biggest steal in the draft. And I'm putting my stamp on it right now. It's one of my hidden gems. Um, I would love if my Bengals got him. But, you know, it is what it is. It's the NFL, you know, and there's plenty of other teams out there that, that's in need of offensive linemen. I feel like he could play right tackle and guard. But it's BSO513, man. Y'all go ahead and comment below. Tell me what y'all think. We got more draft content coming soon. Let's get it.